Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I do hope you all are doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. Let me go ahead and light a candle. So yes, you guys, welcome to the channeled message. Um, please remember to use discernment always in order to take what resonates and leave what does not. Never force a message to resonate. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to light a candle, set the mood. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Also, you guys, I will be doing private phone call readings for the first week of June. So if you're interested, just go ahead and check out the description box. I'll put all the information there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Channeled message reading. What is the message for someone out there? Toil and labor. What is the message for someone out there? Okay, toil and labor and courthouse. <laughs> Interesting. Toil and labor. It's hard work. It's monotonous work. It's the kind of work that doesn't really bring you fulfillment, but you just got to do it so that you can, you know, be able to sustain yourself. Um, and then you have courthouse, which it could talk about a courthouse case or a court case. It could talk about something within the judicial system. Or um, it could also just talk about contracts and documents. Let's see here. Tell us more about this message. For the labor, courthouse, you have the page of swords, you have the emperor. I think you're about to receive communication. Four of cups, yeah. I think you're about to receive communication here. Page of swords, the emperor, and the four of cups. Okay. Clarify the page of swords. <clears throat> Clarify the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is typically communication from a distance. So it could be like a phone call. I'm going to do that again. It could be like a phone call, email. What was that? Ace of Swords. Phone call, email. Page of, page of Swords could also represent curiosity. Okay. Or watching someone from a distance, trying to gather information from a distance. But I feel like it's communication. Clarify the Page of Swords. Sometimes it could even represent delays. Clarify the Page of Swords. It's communication. <laughs> Pages are typically communication messages. And then Ace of Swords is a big communication card. And then the Eight of Wands is communication as well. <laughs> so let me see here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This is luck that's coming towards you. Um, things will turn in your favor after you receive after you receive this communication, okay? So Ace of Swords representing the truth, clarity, and communication. Eight of Wands is fast communication or fast action, fast, ener uh, fast energy. This is something here that's coming towards you. It's right around the corner. So be in expectation mode. I feel like you're gonna get a phone call or an email. It's very important. It's gonna help for things to turn in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're getting communication from someone who works for like the courthouse or something like that, whether it's a judge, whether it's an attorney, whether it's a clerk, um, whether it's a, you know an assistant, secretary, it has to do with with the courthouse, okay? Um, I don't feel like this is someone, whatever they, what it doesn't matter what their job position is because this is a this is a valuable person. They're trying to help you here. They're gonna communicate with you. So just remember, they they work in the courthouse. There's many job positions in the courthouse. Whether they are a clerk, you know, whether they are a front desk worker, whether they are a judge, attorney, right? Let's see here. Let's look at this. Yeah, three of pentacles. They're gonna. They're they're trying to help you. The three of pentacles represents collaborating. Wow. Yeah, it's working together. They've been trying to help you with something, and they're gonna reach out to you. Let's look at the emperor here. 
Let's look at the Emperor. Let's look at the Emperor. Okay. You have the Four of Swords. Let me see here. You have the Three of Wands in the world. All right. So the Emperor represents... It could be a mature man, like a father, father figure, you know, elder, mentor, or it could simply represent someone who's in an assertive energy where they're taking charge and trying to get the situation under control. Let me see here. Four of Swords, Three of Wands, and the, the World card. I want to know more about this Emperor here. It could be your energy. Clarify the Emperor. Seven of Cups. This person looks like they're worrying. Mm. They're worrying and yeah, so they're in their head with the Seven of Cups trying to weigh their options to make a decision. Then the Seven of Wands is someone who's very defensive. Like Seven of Wands is like a stand your ground, defend yourself sort of card. Um... And then look, Four of Swords represents like anxieties, stress, worries. Then you have the three. They're worried about what is to come with the Three of Wands. They may even think that there's a there's an ending that's coming because the world is a successful completion. They're worried about what is to come. Who is this Emperor? Nine of Cups. Who is this emperor? The Nine of Cups is all about fulfillment and satisfaction, but it could easily represent someone who's self-indulgent, like someone who may be very self-serving. Then you have the Eight of Cups walking away, walking away, leaving an investment behind. Like th This person feels like there's an ending that's coming towards them. This is someone who's used to being maybe in a position of control and power, but they feel like that's going to end very soon. Let's use the Kipper deck. Who's this Emperor? Who's this Emperor here? Tell us more about this Emperor. What can we know about this Emperor? You see, journey, marriage. <sighs> There's something here. Mm, someone is more fearful than you know. Like they're trying to put on a brave face and they may act like they're in control, like they know everything, but they don't. There's a lot of hidden fear in this person, but they're not gonna show it. They're afraid of what is to come. And something tells me that they don't know what is to come. They don't know certain things. Like they act like they know everything, but they don't. They act like they're in control, but they're not. It's a facade. Hmm. This person, journey and marriage. The marriage card represents um, like a joint venture. It's an official partnership b between two people. It could also represent a contractual agreement. But then you have journey that's here. Official person. This person knows that you are meant to be in some sort of uh, union with another person, place, or thing. Like this person knows that you're going to connect with another person, place, or thing. And it's going to make you an, an official person. It's going to put you in some sort of 
the, the, an official person, these are individuals who are professionals. They hold an office, whether it's in a company, government, corporation, institution, organization, they hold an office, okay? Um, they know that that's what's to come. They know that you have some sort of, there's some sort of position that you're going to be established in by connecting with another person, place, or thing. But they don't know the specific details. Look, change. Hmm. It's like someone who knows that you're about to get some sort of position or role, but they don't know what position or role it'll be specifically. Hmm. Look, thief. Oh, it may be a position that they themselves want to be in. Oh, let me see here. Thief, message of concern. Whatever role or position you're going to be in, there are thieves who want to take it from you. They want to be in this role and position. Look, message of concern. That's what you need to know about. It's a position or role that everybody wants to, that other people want to be in. And some people thought that they can sabotage you in order to take your position. Yeah, look, change is here. Okay, why does change keep on showing up? Are you like the new boss in, in town? Or I feel like it's... Look, change and child. <sighs> change and child. Main female. You're the one who's in this position. But the enemy tried to steal it from you or sabotage you from this position. Because clearly, again, an official person, right? This is a powerful position that you're going to be in. Um, yeah, it says here, by definition, an official person is a person who has a position of authority in a company, organization, or government. It is a person who simply holds an office. So... This may even be like a white collar job, okay? Um, maybe you're going to be working for like an institution, organization, corporation, or maybe this is even something within the government, okay? Maybe some sort of like a government position. So there's a lot of perhaps conflict or controversy behind this. But it really looks like you're the one who's been selected. Like, change, you're taking someone's place. It's like you're the new, you're the new executive, or you're the new employee, or something like that. Like you're taking you're the, the someone has left the seat and you're taking their, their place in this seat. Wait, now that I think about it, you could actually be the emperor. But I don't feel like you are. I don't, um, you're actually, I don't feel like you are. I feel like there's an emperor who wants to be in your position in a, you know, like there's something here. Okay. So change child and main female. Okay. So something's changing. Like you're taking someone's place. Like you're the new, whatever your title is going to be. You're the new, for example, you're the new executive or you're the new president or you're the new mayor, you know, you're the new CEO or you're the new director, the new manager, the new employee, that, that kind of title. Right. And look, child is here. You're young, you're youthful, either you're young in age or you're youthful in spirit and energy. You're youthful. And look, main female, you're a woman. But what you need to know is the thieves, there are people who want this position, so just be careful. Don't work with anyone who wants to take your place. Do not. If you sense anyone competing with you, being jealous, 
of you or anyone trying to like, you know, they want to lead. They want to be, they want to lead you, even though you're the one who's the leader here. Be very careful with working with people who want your spot. If you sense any of that, go ahead and dismiss them. Because they will surely try to sabotage you eventually to take your spot. It is a very competitive spot, a very competitive position and role. Please be careful. Okay? Protect your blessings. Um, now, there is an emperor here who's like, I'm not moving. This emperor, I don't know what, what look, mature woman. I feel like you would show up as the empress in this, in this case. Because the Empress is a powerful woman. There is a there's a, a, a woman here who's gonna be in a powerful role and position. And she's gonna be showing up as the Empress. That, because the Empress is the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. Now, there's a man here, there's a male here, the emperor, who's very nervous about what's to come. It's like he doesn't know the full details. He may not know that this empress here, um, you know, is going to be in the position that I feel he wants. Let me see, what's his problem? High honor, yeah. She's, she's gonna be in a more important position than him and that's what is killing him it's eating him alive high honor and look she's still on the back as a mature woman so i feel like she's going to be in a higher position than he is and that's what's kind of really bothering him here you got to be very careful i mean we live in a modern world where you can be anything that you want to be regardless of your age Okay, whether you're young, whether you're elderly, uh, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, the sky is the limit. Um, but it doesn't mean that there aren't some people who still have that kind of old, you know, old mentality um, or closed minded mentality where it's like you have a man here who feels like he should be. He should have a higher position because he's a man or because he may be um, older uh, because main female, and I'm just being honest here, you don't have to agree with people's mentality, but it's important. It's good to understand people's mentality so that you can protect yourself from them. Anybody who has a mentality that you don't like, you know, be cautious of them. Main, so you're not just a woman, but you're also very youthful. So just just know that there will be people who will, will try to undermine you. It doesn't mean that their opinion is valid. Look, we all have um, we all have the right to an opinion, but his opinion is not important. At least that's that's just how I think in my life. You can think whatever you want to think about me, but your opinion is not important to me. <laughs> It's not significant to my blessing. It's not a factor. It's not a factor. You know, because some people, it, you know, we all have the right to an opinion, but then some people take themselves to be bigger than what they are and they think that they can stand in the way of someone. You can think what you want to think, but don't you dare try to block another person or interfere with another person's blessing because in that case, you will be removed. So let people think what they want to think, but just know that the opinions of others, it's not important, okay? What's important is what God thinks. God chose you. He selected you, okay? And you'll have some of these people who are already projecting. I, I've, I've had a reading like this before too. Um, so maybe it's a story that's continuing, but I do remember um, having a similar message like this in, in one of um, our previous readings. You know, you will have some people who will say, why her, not me? Because you've done everything that they have not. Because you have done everything that they have not. Why her? Why, why her, not me? Um, because you have the heart that they don't. They're malicious. They're jealous. They can't stand to see good things happen to others and wait for their turn. Why her, not me? Because you are everything that they are not. 
you can say, oh my gosh, dream, that's so cocky. Well, you look like someone who has worked incredibly hard. So you have the right to, you know, you have the right to be cocky because you have the credentials to back it up. If anybody tries you, what I'm saying is don't let anybody put you in the hot seat is what I'm trying to say. Um, and, uh, you know, again, be aware that there are people who are going to have this mentality. So don't be shocked if they try to bring their nonsense to you. Um, but yeah, this man here, I can feel he's fuming, he's fuming, he's fuming, he's fuming. And your age is such a big deal. He, he's, that's what he's using here to prove his point because he's older than you. Because he's older than you, but whatever. Um, let me see here. Message. Yeah, you're going to get... A message let me see here message 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 yeah look it's it's your blessing you're gonna be informed about this and it's bringing you whatever this role or position is it's bringing you sudden wealth Sudden well, that is amazing. Your whole life is about to change. Your whole life is about to change. Now, when it comes to this emperor here, let me see, what do you need to know about this emperor? Judication, yeah, because he's judging you. No, I'm just joking. I do feel like he is though. I feel like this man, I feel like he is. He has a lot to say. He may even be, he may have even tried to contest, contest you, you know? Um, but yeah, adjudication, he has a lot to say. You know, he's saying that he has concerns um, and he he's judging this partnership that you're gonna be in because again, marriage, you're coming together with another person, place, or thing. And it's what's gonna position you in the role of, a, of an official person. Okay, it's what's gonna position you in, in the role of an official person. So he's judging this, this marriage, this partnership that you're going to be in. He's judging it. But again, he does not have the jurisdiction as in he doesn't have the power or the authority to make a decision about you or to even judge you. You see, some people like to carry themselves, you know, they like to think of themselves more than what they really are. You can have an opinion. We all have opinion. But no one has the jurisdiction. No one has the power or the authority to try to stand in another person's way or judge another person or make a, a, a decision about another person. The power is in God's hands. So... I'm telling you about these sorts of people so that you can know how to really just ignore them. Um, but there's there's a judgy, there's a judgy individual here, okay? And um, unex I'm telling you, money's coming towards you. Power is coming towards you. Status is coming towards you. Affluence and influence is coming towards you. All right, let's look at this Four of Cups. <clears throat> Four of Cups. Tell us about this Four of Cups. Four of Cups represents rejection, unfulfillment. Two of Wands, tell us about this Four of Cups. Tell us 
Seven of Pentacles. Tell us about this Four of Cups, the Sun. <sighs> okay. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Hmm. All of the people who tried to stop you or standing in your way, they were very stupid to do that because you've been lonely. Like you've been alone on this journey. Like it looks like nobody really helped you. You experience rejection. You experience rejection, maybe even like they try to outcast you. Two of Wands, carrying out a plan. Like you had to, you had to, you had to fight for this all on your own. That's the thing. With the Two of Wands, you know, almost like a one man's team. Then look, Seven of Pentacles. You worked persistently on this situation, though, or on this case. Like, you, you were very committed. And then the sun. You made it. You did it all by yourself. Of course, with God by your side, you know. Um, you may have been alone physically, but spiritually you weren't. You had God protecting you and guiding you blessing you. The sun is happiness. You're going to be rejoicing very soon. You're going to be overwhelmingly happy. And you're making an arrival to this destination by yourself, but with God, with God's presence. So you know what that means. All the people who were not there with you from the beginning cannot be with you in the end. So what I'm trying to say is, I see many of you choosing to literally start over. Like if you have to work with these people, the same people who tried to go against you, you may meet them when you arrive to this destination and many of you will choose to, to dismiss them. You might actually choose a whole new team of people to work with. They showed their true color, but they didn't realize that that, that grave that they were digging was going to be eventually for them. They would fall in it. They thought that they could stop you. They thought that they could block you. But they don't realize that they caused an ending for themselves. Some of these people will lose their job. Their position, some of them will be removed, is what Spirit just said. And... You're going to get a whole new team of people to work with you. And maybe that's how God wants it in the first place. There's a reason why you were chosen. You're showing up as child. You're youthful. You're, something about you is very refreshing. You may even be very progressive, innovative. You're a breath of fresh air. And that's what's needed for this particular role and position. You are the perfect person. And you are more than qualified because God is the one who trained you, who taught you, who developed you for this position. So do not let any man make you feel like you are not qualified. Because if you weren't, then you wouldn't have been chosen. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone make you feel like they're more qualified than you because if that was the case then they would have been chosen you are the chosen one god has chosen you already in the spirit but he's revealing it to you in the physical many of you guys your blessings are now manifesting your spiritual blessings are now manifesting into the physical realm as jobs job position money valuable offers where god wants you to be able to see feel and touch the blessing, your blessing, so that you can know this position, okay? This role that he is positioning you in is 
his way of saying, look at this. Look at this. This is proof. This is concrete proof that you are indeed the chosen one. I have selected you. I have distinguished you from the rest. Because for many are called, but only a few are chosen. God calls all of us into his kingdom. But not everyone accepts their calling. And for those who accept their calling, they will be rewarded, blessed abundantly. Okay, and the ones who don't accept their calling, they have the, the audacity to be jealous of you, which is ridiculous. You did the work and they did not. It's simple. How did you get in this position? How did you get chosen? Uh, because I did the work. Because I did the work. Simple. That's your simple answer. Because I did the work. You did the work spiritually and physically but most importantly, spiritually. Because you can work, don't get me wrong, hard work pays off, but God's blessings, it takes you to new levels. Okay? So it is what it is. Congratulations. This is a moment of celebrating. Ten of Wands. You complete, the ten is completion, at least for me. Ten is completion. The battle is over. The struggle is over. We did a reading a couple days ago, um, and, and the message was start preparing yourself. Start grooming yourself. There was a message about that. Let me see here if I can find it. Where the Holy Spirit was saying to someone, start grooming yourself. Start start looking good. Start buying nice outfits, nice nice clothes, because you're leveling up. You're about to be introduced to a whole, a whole new level of a, of a social class as well. You're going to enter a different social class. You're now upper class. You're elevating spiritually and physically. So your ranking here on earth has also changed. You're upper class. Wow. Um, let me see if I can find the, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's, I posted it five days ago. I'm looking here on my YouTube channel and the title is five days ago. I titled it, God is polishing and transforming you. Wow, let me let me see if I can click. I want to read. God is polishing and transforming you in ways that you will be unrecognizable. This is someone's story because I've been picking up on it for months and months now. All the adversity that you face, that's fine. Let them try to challenge you. But as long as God says yes, no man can say no. This is destined for you. And all of the people who try to block you, they, they only blocked themselves. Because like I said, be wise. Do not work with anyone who wants your spot. Do not tolerate jealousy. Do not tolerate competition. Get rid of those people, dismiss them and get a whole new team of people to work with you. I actually feel like that's what you're called to do. It's like a complete makeover. God has selected someone different to rule. You're in some sort of position of power and influence like a hierophant. Okay. And you may, you may look different than the other people who were in this position right? But there's a reason why you were chosen. It's to do a makeover. I don't know if you're going to be looking over, like, I don't know what this is. It's going to be different for everyone. But you're selected because you're going to make the positive changes that are needed in this place. So, wow. And I want you to step into this new beginning with your head up high. Don't drop your crown. Keep your head up high. The Eight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. What is this about? Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups. Then you have the Strength card. You've been through so much. But pressure produces diamonds. Eight of Swords, Mental Prison. 
feeling stuck, Ten of Cups. Does this have to do with family? This has to do with the family situation, perhaps. <clears throat> you're different from the rest. That's, you're not meant to blend in. I'm telling you, you're not meant to blend in. Whether it's, whether it's your way of life, whether it's your mentality, whether it's your skin color, whether it's your age, whether it's your gender, whether it's your accent, whether it's where you come from, your background, your culture, your traditions, God selected you for those unique reasons. The same, and <laughs> the same, the same uh, uh, traits that the enemy's picking at you for right it's like a bully bullies tend to pick at the 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 traits that you have that they lack that they wish they had but because they don't have those traits they're going to try to make you feel bad for having those traits the very thing that the enemy has tried to pick at you, whether it's because of your youthfulness, whether it's because of your age, whether it's because of your color, whether it's because of your gender, where you come from, is the same reason why God chose you. It's the same traits that God loves about you. The same traits that God loves about you is the same trait that the enemy will try to, to convince you to hate about yourself. Many of you, the same, the same reason why you, why you were bullied and outcasted and rejected and undermined, underestimated is the same reason why you're even where you're at right now. Because those traits are a blessing. Those traits that you carry, those characteristics, it's a blessing. It's not a curse. God made you this way as a blessing, not a curse. I see it all the time. The reason why people, the same things that people try to bully you for, <laughs> those traits, God gave it to you for a significant reason. It's a blessing. It's a gift. It's a skill. It's a talent. It's beautiful. Those, those traits, those characteristics are beautiful and powerful. You're not meant to blend in because some of you are going to be in spaces where you will stand out. That's the point. You're meant to stand out. So go ahead and start looking good and feeling good. And be secure in yourself. Be confident. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Be in expectation mode. Be prepared for news. Good news is what I'm here to tell you. So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Like I said earlier, I will be doing private phone call readings um, in the beginning or the first week of June. So if you're interested, check out the description box. All the info will be there. I will also post a link to the video that I referenced where God is polishing you. Um, and transforming you that will also be linked in the description box as well. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.